Welcome back to my channel, YSK Studio. This is Sekai. How are you doing? Me? I'm tired of staying at home. But let's keep staying at home together for saving the world. So let's get started. The IOC and other big names have decided to postpone the Olympic Games in Tokyo until the next year. I was so shocked, but it cannot be helped considering the current situation. In other words, you still have one more year before coming to Tokyo or other cities in Japan. Why not take advantage of this one more year to learn about Japan? Learn about its culture, its history, and its lifestyle. I'm sure your trip to Japan will be much more fun if you learn about Japan. So, I have decided to start a new series called Japanese Sword. In this series, I will share with you show stories of Japan so that your trip to Japan will be much more enjoyable. Today's topic, the first topic of the series, is the difference between a shrine and a temple. I think most of guys want to see Japanese traditional buildings when you come to Japan. And I also think in most cases, the traditional buildings you go and see are temples and shrines. But what's the difference between them? And how can you distinguish them? To tell the truth, it is sometimes difficult for us Japanese to distinguish them. So it's okay for you to fail to tell them apart. What is important is to enjoy and feel the tradition of Japan when you visit a shrine or a temple. I will begin with how to distinguish a shrine from a temple. It's very very easy, easy as pie. A shrine has a torii gate, but a temple doesn't have it. A torii gate is like this, and it is often painted red. You always go through a torii gate when you visit a shrine. But you should not pass the center of the gate, because this is the gate for the guards, which I will explain later. Passing a torii gate means you enter the sacred space. On the other hand, a temple normally has a statue of Buddha. This is one in Kotoku in Kamakura, a one-hour train from Tokyo. The Buddha in Kotoku is one of the most famous heritages in Japan, and you should not miss it if you have a chance to come to Japan. Now, I will explain the difference between a shrine and a temple. Both of them are religious facilities, and the religion they believe in is different. As I said before, a temple usually has a Buddha statue. You found out? Yes, a temple is a Buddhism facility. Meanwhile, a shrine is a Shinto facility. Shinto is a religion peculiar to Japan. Shinto is a polytheism. Polytheism? Hmm. Polytheism which means Shinto is a belief in multiple gods. Mm, gods? Yes. A Tori is the gate for the Shinto gods. Now, you can brag your knowledge on Japan to your friends and explain the difference between a shrine and a temple. A shrine is a Shinto facility and it has a gate for the Shinto gods, which is called Tori. A temple is a Buddhism facility and it has a statue of Buddha. By the way, most of the Japanese people are not so strict when it comes to the religion. We Japanese have a custom to visit a shrine or a temple at the beginning of the new year. This custom is called Hatsumode, which literally means the worship for the first time. As you can see from that I said, a shrine or a temple, there is no strict rule for which facilities you should visit for Hatsumode. You don't have to be nervous when you come to visit a shrine or a temple, but please keep in mind that they are religious facilities and don't be too noisy. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any topic that you want me to pick up, please share with me in the comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye. Before ending this video, I have three messages to you. 
First, to those who are suffering from the disease in their families and friends, I am in your prayers. Second, to those who are helping the patients and struggling for keeping the world safe, I respect you from the bottom of my heart. You are the heroes in a true sense. And third message, this one is to the most of you guys who are bored and tired of staying at home, just like me. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for your effort to save the world from this infamous virus. I understand how you feel. I understand your eagerness to go out, because I am also the very person to think so. But I believe we together can beat this virus. So at this moment, let's stay at home. And I hope this video will help you enjoy staying at home.